Hello, my name is Cameron Davidson Pilon. I'm here talking to you at Pi Data 2020. I have my Pi Data T. Let's talk about Lifelines. So, Lifelines, it's a survival analysis library written in pure Python. I've been maintaining it for about five years now, and I want to give you the Lifelines in 2020 and beyond uh, speech. So, the past couple of years, Lifelines has gone through what I call the differential or automatic differentiation revolution. Uh, if you don't know about automatic differentiation or AD, uh, it's this really cool piece of technology that sort of came out of the neural net libraries like TensorFlow and PyTorch, but we can use that piece in a lot of statistical models. So it enables new, brand new statistical models, easy to implement. It enables just faster computations and less time um, both on the user side and the developer side to implement new ideas. It's really, really cool. So like this meme says, you can almost ensure, differentiate anything. It's, it's just awesome. Check it out, automatic differentiation. So Lifelines uses that now. Uh, Lifelines also has a very fast cadence, a release cadence. So we're releasing maybe every two to three weeks. Um, you can see here that we're releasing like really, really fast. So always be updating Lifelines if you're a user of it. If you haven't touched Lifelines in a couple years, uh, definitely upgrade. The API is pretty stable, but there's new additions and new bug fixes um, as we release. Lifelines tries to codify the best survival analysis practices. So survival analysis is a very traditional field. It's been around for a long time. It's very traditional. And kind of the, the modern thinking is about you know, 10, 15 years ahead of what's happening in practice. Um, so for example, the log rank test, you may have heard of it. It's not really considered a good practice anymore to use the log rank test, even though everyone does it. And if you do it, that's okay. Uh, but there's better solutions now. Um, and so Lifelines tries to guide you to choose the best statistical practice. We also want to implement some of the, the newer modern practices. So um, this past summer, um, the statistician Frank Harrell and co they published this really cool paper on um, survival calibration. So really useful for, useful for validating your models, especially predictive models. This paper came out on uh, June 16th, 2020. Uh, the next day, actually, I had this implemented in Lifelines and ready to go in a PR um, for, for the next release. So we wanna, be, we wanna be on the forefront of the best practices. This is a great paper, really cool paper. It's now on Lifelines. Feel free to use it. I'm also looking for help with lifelines. Um, there's only so much I can do, and there's some just some software things and stats things I'm just not very good at. Um, so in particular, I'd like help with a better integration with Scikit-Learn. Uh, so right now we have this wrapper around lifelines that integrates with Scikit-Learn, but it's a very janky wrapper. It's not really well implemented. Um, I think to work on this, you probably need a background, definitely with scikit-learn, some experience with, with classes and, and APIs um, and maybe meta classes. So help, help with that would be appreciated. Uh, a better API for creating time-bearing data, time data sets is useful. Survival analysis can incorporate time-bearing data sets, but to go from, I have all this time-bearing data and different tables, to a pandas data frame that Lifelines will accept. That's a very um, clunky process. I'd like a better way to go from raw data to a time varying data set. It's probably even an external library that uh, needs to be created that many libraries can use. Um, so just help with, with managing that or building, uh, building tools for, for creating time varying data sets. And finally, just a better integration with other data libraries in the, the PyData ecosystem. So integrations, for example, with Dask and X-Array. Right now, Lifelines has minimal support for these, for these libraries. Um, it sh shouldn't be too hard to, for example, accept X-Array data sets. Um, Dask might be more complicated, but I'd love to get help on, on these and kind of bring Lifelines deeper into the PyData stack. Anyways, if you have questions, uh, my email is online. It's all over Lifelines. 
Uh, but do check out the library. Happy to answer questions. Happy to help onboard users uh, and new developers. Anyways, thanks. Enjoy Pi Data 2020. Bye, everyone.